What's up team? Welcome back to work and welcome back to day one of the JACK program. This is going to be an upper lower split. So we're going to go two upper body days per week, two lower body days per week, and a cardio session to finish out the week. So today we're jumping into an upper body session. Let's hop into the warm up and I'll walk us through our first circuit. Hold on, we got somebody hopping in. We're going to start off with 10 body weight squats. Get those legs loosened up a little bit. Overhead though, so hands overhead, palms up. Sergio KT, what's up? 10 reps. Thumbs pointed backwards. From there, we're going into inchworm, push up into pike. Three reps, starting at the bottom of your mat. Hands go down, walk out to a plank. Nice slow push up. Pike those hips up, get a nice stretch in the calves. Back down to a plank, walk back out. Three times through. Then we're going to drop down in the bottom of our squat position, elbows inside of the knees, left hand goes on the ground, rotate up, hold for a second, alternate, three times each side. From there, we're dropping down onto our belly and we're doing 10 snow angels. So on your belly. Hands stay off the ground, slowly reach overhead, 10 reps. Then we're going 10 internal, external overhead reaches. Get those shoulders loosened up. We're starting off with an overhead press test, so we definitely want those shoulders warm. Then 10 big arm circles forward, 10 in reverse, 10 crosses, and let's get into it. All right, team, so day one, we always start off with a test. Because this is gonna be an upper lower program, we're gonna have a test today for upper body, and we're gonna have a test tomorrow for lower body that we're then gonna repeat again at the end of the month, hopefully, hopefully improving upon your numbers. Test for today, we got three minutes on the clock. Our last upper body test was a dumbbell chest press test. This time, we're doing a shoulder press test. And we're going to do it very specifically on the knees. So, you're going to need two dumbbells. We're going to set three minutes on the clock, and you're going to try to get as many reps as you can in three minutes. Rests are, of course, okay. We're not going to be able to do shoulder presses for three minutes straight. So pick a moderately challenging weight, something you can get 10 to 15 reps with. Take a little break, knock out some more reps. Hopefully, second time around, you'll be able to like, rest a little bit less and knock out a couple more reps. So we're gonna do it on the tall knees. So you're down on both knees. Squeeze the glutes, abs are nice and tight. Press, this takes any momentum out of being on your feet and hopefully it restricts you from leaning back too much. So you're on your knees, dumbbells are facing your head, press up and at the top, hands are facing forward, back down. At the bottom, the dumbbells should be touching your shoulders. Drive up, down, up. Try to get your body in a nice straight line at the top so my bicep is right near my ear and we're not pressing out front here. So three minutes on the clock. I'm gonna go at it with 30s and see how I do. Like I said, rests are okay, but you wanna be pushing pretty close to failure, short rest, count how many reps you have and you guys should write it down on the calendar you printed out for the month. You should've got that in the email. If not, just jot it down on a piece of paper so you remember, remember at the end. Any questions, guys? This is our first circuit.
Good? Let's do it. We got a 10 second. What's that, Drew? I'm gonna try 30s, yeah. 10 second countdown, team, like always. Let's get into it. Quality over quantity on both knees. Oh yeah, sorry. Three, two, one, work. Press. Take your time. Try not to hit failure. Take a little rest. Right back into it. Two minutes left. You might need longer rest. The shoulder press is a smaller muscle, so. Deep press, 50 seconds. I'm saving five seconds. <sighs> Woo, rest. 47. Make sure you guys write it down somewhere, a little notepad on your phone. Repeat again at the end of the month. I've been noticing some people have been going heavier on the retest, so try to stick with the same weight, because otherwise it's hard to judge if you got stronger or weaker. So I'm gonna retest again and again with 30s. Three minutes rest team. Nice work. We're on circuit B. Can you guys hear me over the music? Cool. All right guys, we got 50 second intervals for this round, three moves. 20 seconds of rest between each movement, 45 between rounds, three rounds through. Our first move is a push-up with a hand release. So basically, you want your hands out of your side, shoulder width position, regular push-up position, elbows at 45 degrees, so you're pressing from here, hands rotated out. At the top of every rep, you're gonna row one hand in, back down, row one hand. So it looks like this. Full push-up, keep your core tight, reach. Alternate, reach, down reach body weight so at that top position you're trying to keep your core tight and flex that pec muscle that you're locking out the arm on 50 seconds alternating back and forth you can of course modify to your knees or 
an inclined surface. Arms are pretty fatigued probably already at this point, but you can do it on an incline. If I get fatigued, I'll jump up to my bench. That's our first move. Second move is a dumbbell pullover. So you're gonna have a bench. You're gonna grab the dumbbell triangular on the top like so. Kind of hook it in your hands and you're gonna do a pullover. So you're on your back, head is hanging off the bench if you have a bench. If you're doing it on the floor, you can do it on the regular, just your head is touching. Slight bend in the elbows, overhead, keep your abs tight and then pull back up straight. So your arms are staying locked out in that position and pulling back over. You're not doing a skull pressure. So the elbows aren't bending very much. All the movement is coming through the shoulders. That's our second movement. You can do it on the ground, the dumbbell will just tap the floor. Third movement is a crush grip dumbbell chest press. So crush grip means we're just gonna squeeze a dumbbell like this sideways and press as many reps as we can, elbows flaring out. I'm gonna go 40 with this. So you're coming down and press back up. You can do that on the floor, of course. Any questions, team? We got push up and alternating hand release, dumbbell pullovers, and a crush grip chest press. So you're trying to crush the dumbbell together and press together. I'm gonna go 40 on that, and I'm gonna go 30 on my pullovers. Let's do it, team. Six seconds, alternating hand release push ups. In five. Three, two, one, work. Down, pull. Keep that other arm locked out. Pause for a second. Feet are a little wider than normal, keeping a solid base. Short rests are okay, right back into it. Five, two, one, rest for 20. Dumbbell pullovers. On your back, on the floor or on a bench. Sign up. Three, one, work. Reach, squeeze. Nice and slow down. A bench gets you a little bit more range of motion. Keep your abs tight. Try to keep that butt on the bench or on the floor. Bend the knees if you're on the floor. <clears throat> Come on. Two, one, press. 20 seconds, crush grip, chest press. I'm gonna try with 40. Five. Three, two, one, work. This should be a little bit of a burnout. And try to squeeze that dumbbell. Oh, you really feel that in the chest. 
squeezing in and up. Two, one, rest. 45, team. We're going two more rounds through. Woo! How we doing? Any questions on those movements? Anyone else really feel that in the chest on those crush grip presses? That was killing me. Let's get it, team. 12 seconds. We're back to those alternating push-up hand release. Feet wider than normal to keep you, give you a solid base. In three, two, one. Let's work. on this crush grip, those two movements. Woo, lay off the chest. The pullovers are chest too, and lats. I'm gonna try to get more reps with less weight with the 30. Four, two, crush grip, let's go. Elbows flare out, squeeze the chest at the top. Fully lock out the elbows. Team. We got one more round through. Modify the weights if you need to. Quality over quantity. Not too many rest breaks or not too long a rest breaks. 20 seconds, team. We're back to those hand pulls, push ups. Ten seconds. Deep breath. Start setting up. Let's get it. Monday, baby. Start the week off right. Two, one, work. Take your time.
Come on, hang in there. Circuit be done. Oh. Oh, nice little rest. Three minutes, team. Recover. We got identical format for circuit C. 50 seconds, 20 seconds. First move, a newer move. I think we did it last week. We're going rear delt rows. A little lighter than you would on a regular bent over row. If you guys remember, slight bend in the knees. Hips go back, chest at about a 45 degree angle, arms hang, palms facing backwards the whole time, pulling up towards your ears, and then nice and slow back down. So I'm gonna go 25s on this. I'll give you a couple of demo reps. Dumbbells here, bend over till that about right about your knees, and you're pulling up, getting those dumbbells towards your ears. So from the front, I'm standing up, it looks like this. Hands, arms are rotating up a little bit, almost like you're doing a bicep flex, except you're bent over. So from here to here, the back of the hand is trying to face towards the ceiling. You want to feel this all across your upper back. Like I said, go a little lighter than you would in a regular row. I'm going to go 20s or 25s. I'm going to start with 25s and see how it goes. From there, we're going piped push-ups. So we're in our pike position, hips up in the air. Feet wide, elbows pointed out, head goes towards the ground, touches and presses. 50 seconds. For those of you that struggle with that, you can do a bear push up, which is your, you're in your bear position, knees off the ground, you can let your head dive towards the ground a little bit. And if that's still too difficult, you can go push up on the knees or on an inclined surface. And then our final move in the circuit is a seated drag curls. Or you can do them standing, just not as uh, comfortable. The way this looks, we're set up. You wanna go a little heavier than you would on regular curls. I'm gonna go 30s. Sit near the edge of your bench. Lean the chest forward, dumbbells hang. 
and you're going to curl and pull up towards your shoulders. So it's a little bit like a row, and you're just trying to pull up towards your shoulders. Let the dumbbell, let the front of this dumbbell come towards your shoulder while you're bent over. So it's a little bit of biceps, a little bit of back. You can go a little heavier than you could in a regular curl. Any questions? Let's do it team, we got 15 seconds. Rear delt rows coming up. I'm gonna go 25s on that and 30s on the drag curls. Rear delt rows in three, one, work. Bend over at the hips, pull up towards the ears, nice and slow back down. Fifteen seconds. Stand up if you need a little rest on the low back. Five, two, one, rest. Piked push-ups or bear push-ups or push-ups on your knees. Pick the modification that suits you. The further you walk your feet back, the easier. The closer you walk your feet in, the harder. to the top. Those rear delt rows coming in. Hot. Whew. How are we doing? There we go. Deep breaths, team. Come on. We got one more circuit coming up after this. It's all core. Seven seconds. Rear delt rows coming up. Pick them up. Two, one, let's work. Pull towards those ears. Woo! Rotate that 
take those hands up towards the ears. Eighteen seconds. Five, two, one, rest. Pike push ups. Oh, that should be all on the shoulders, upper back. 10 seconds, team. Pike push ups. Take your time. Shoulders should be pretty fatigued. And work. Good reps. Try to fully extend. Your arms should look like a regular press at the top. Bicep near your ears. Fully extend. Drag curl seated. Three, two, work. Hold the extend. Let those elbows collapse back. Team, short breaks are okay. Take it right back up. Five. One. Rest. Woo! We're going twenties. I mean, I'm going twenty on the rear delt row. I'm dropping my weight a little bit. Keep the quality up. Shoulders and biceps are getting toasty. Modify if you need to. I'm gonna focus all my attention on the muscles I'm trying to work with a slightly lighter weight. If you find yourself swinging too much, drop the weight too. 10 seconds team, last round through. We got a little core circuit to take us home. Day one in the books. Three, two, one. Let's work. Squeeze those shoulder blades back and together at the top. Seconds, team. Ten. Even these twenties are hard. This round. Five. Two. One. Rest. Whoo! Pike push-ups coming up. Get it, team. Five. Set up. Three. Two. And work. Yeah. <sighs> 
Come on. 20 seconds, little break if you need it. Deep breath, right back into it. Going a little harder. Two, one, press. Drag curls. Eight seconds, team. Two, one, let's work. Let's grab those dumbbells hard. to rest we got three movements all core movement number one 13 30 seconds of alternating toe touches so we're on our back we're in an X position head back hands are back we're gonna reach across let the right arm touch the left toe sitting up at the chest and lifting the leg simultaneously meeting in the middle nice and slow back down opposite side those of you really flexible people out there, I don't want to see this with the leg moving and not the upper body coming up. So you want that chest and core to sit up, touch. That's our first movement. A modification would be come up and touch the knee if you can't touch the toe. Second movement, Russian twist with the sit up in the middle. So we're going to be back, heels planted. You're going to go touch, rotating the chest, touch, come back to center, down, up, touch, touch, down, up. A modification is touch, touch, and you can just come down and do a, a crunch or pull yourself back up with your hands. If you need to, you can hook your feet under some dumbbells. If you need some leverage down here or hook it underneath your couch, anything to kind of give you some leverage if you feel like you can't get back up from here. So touch, touch, That's our second move. And our third movement is a plank hip lift. Setting up, tuck that tailbone underneath, core tight, let those hips lower, squeezing the abs the entire time, let the thighs touch and crunch back up. This movement is all about intention. On the way down, pretend you're squeezing your abs like someone's gonna punch you in the abs and you're feeling that the whole way through. So the abs are doing the work and not the shoulders. Any questions? Those are our three movements. We good? We got 30 seconds, team. I'm gonna give you the whole time. I'm feeling nice today. Give myself 32. Three rounds through, 30 seconds each, 15 seconds of rest. Let's finish strong, guys. Alternating toe touches coming up in 10. Set up. Five. Three, two, one, let's work. Eight. 
two, one, rest, 15. Come up to your butt, we're going Russian twist with a sit up every rep. Double side and then back. Three, two, one, work. Touch, touch, down. Come on. Five, two, one, press. Woo! Plank hip lifts coming up. Now we got 30 seconds rest between rounds. All the tension on the abs. Bend the knees if you need to a little bit. Two, one, work. Abs tucked. Touch, drive. sternum towards your belly button and keep it there the whole time at least intentionally it may come apart a little bit as you go down but that's our focus alternating toe touches coming up six seconds team two more rounds throw in three two one work modify if you need to too much in the lower back, drop to a modification. It's okay, we live to fight another day. 10 seconds team. Start setting up. Five, alternating toe touches. One, work. Ooh. 
two, one. Russian twist, sit up. Come on. Try to get that chest facing that wall, not just the arms. Rotate at the whole core. Two, one. Work, touch, touch, down. Seven. Three, two, one. Plank hip lifts coming up. And we're out of here, team. Ten seconds. Plank hip lifts, tuck that core. All your intention there. Two, one, work. Have an awesome Monday. We'll be back tomorrow, same time, same place, your living room with a lower body workout. Have an awesome Monday, guys. You killed it. See you tomorrow.